Hello, my name is Claire Blackler. I'm a Master of Wine based in Edinburgh in the UK. Nearly 20 years ago, I founded Case Studies Wine School to provide a series of courses and events for professionals and enthusiasts to develop their wine knowledge and their wine tasting skills. In addition, I also offer a sensorial analysis service, competition judging, copywriting, and seller advice and management. I've been asked to tell you a little bit about my favorite wines. Of course, like many professionals in the wine industry, I have many and could go on for several hours about this particular subject, but I thought maybe I'd indulge myself and talk about my favorite three. Champagne, of course, I think most people would say that they very much enjoy champagne. And certainly if I was stuck on a desert island, it would be champagne that I would want to take with me. I'd also want to take some Chardonnay as well. And I'm not actually that fussy about where from. Burgundy, of course, some of my favorite villages, Merceau and Pouligny Montmarché, but I'm also very comfortable with some of the best quality Chardonnays from Australia and uh, the USA as well. With respect to red wines, it would have to be Rioja uh, that I would choose to um, take to my desert island if that's what I was doing, uh, particularly Rioja Reserva. I love that balance of fruit, the, the black currant, the plum fruit with the softening from the vanilla and sweet spice oak that you get in the Reserva level. So they're my three favorite wines. I was also asked to talk about my favorite movie to enjoy these wines with. And again, I have a, as equally long a list of, of favorite films, but I'd have to say that again, my three favorites, if I'm allowed three, Firstly, when Harry met Sally, I would definitely match the champagne with that. It's a fun, it's a bubbly film and uh, the champagne would, would work well there, I think. Secondly, uh, my favorite, uh, another favorite film is Little Miss Sunshine. I don't know whether you've seen that one, but it's again, it's another good fun film. I would probably pair one of the Chardonnays with, uh, with that. Um, Thirdly, my favourite film, and this one has to be a wine-themed film, which is Sideways. A great film. Uh, the wine, however, the Rioja, I'm not sure that would go with it. The film, if you know, is all about Pinot Noir with a guest experience, uh, a guest uh, appearance from Merlot. And uh, um, so I would probably find myself, again, a good Burgundy or a Pinot Noir from Sonoma County or uh, New Zealand to, uh, to pair with that. Um, okay, uh, what do I do when I'm not wine tasting uh, or teaching um, about wine or writing about wine? Well, I am currently revisiting playing the piano. It was something I did in my teens. I uh, stopped when I went to university and uh, my career took hold. Uh, then the Master of Wine um, also uh, became my priority. But now I have found a little bit of extra time to revisit the piano and I'm learning a few pieces, which is something I very much enjoy doing in my, uh, in my downtime. I also very much enjoy the classic uh, um, activities that any wine professional probably gets involved in and that's cooking as well and of course eating and I also uh, very much enjoy long distance walking which I do uh, uh, that's what I do for my holidays is uh, is go off for a long distance walk and skiing is the other activity that I very much enjoy doing so what do I look for in a great wine? Well, again, a great wine has many, many qualities, but I think probably what I look for firstly is balance. Everything has to be in at the right level in the wine, not too much tannin, not too much fruit, not too much acid, everything beautifully balanced and, uh, and drinking 
uh, nicely, then I look for textural and aromatic richness in the wine. I like flavours that linger, so a long finish on the wine, but also I'm looking for charm, I look for presence, I look for vibrance and I look for confidence in a great wine. I suppose really what it comes down to is does the wine make me stop? Does it make me stop? Does it make me think? Does it make me smile? And if it does that, it goes into my category of, uh, of a great wine. I'm very much looking forward to joining the team of judges at this year's London wine competition. It's been a long time since I've been involved in a judging competition or even been to a wine tasting with other people. As I'm sure is the case for most other professionals, uh, the pandemic has obviously inhibited our ability to get together. And that's what I'm looking forward to most is getting together with the professionals that I love working with, professionals that I've not been able to see for a long time. And it'll be lovely to all get together in the, in the same room with the common objective of being able to taste and experience hopefully some, some good wines, some great wines even, hopefully, uh, for, uh, to, uh, that we're tasting during this competition.